In this section of the program, I add on the List Records button. Let's see how this thing works. I click on List Records, and out come all my records right onto the screen. Let's add in one more. Uh, George Washington. And the department is government. And the salary is uh, $500,000. I'm going to add that record in now. It should clear this screen off, put that record in here. And it does. There's my record. Now, is that in the database now? Let's list the records. Now, when I click on list the records, it's actually going into the database table, pulling out those records and listing them on the screen. Let's see if George Washington is now in there. Let's go to the bottom, and there he is. George Washington, government, $500,000. Pretty good so far. Let's go see how we did this with the list records. I'm now in my front end program and I scooch on down to the button section. And as you can see, I have a new button here. That's the list records button. Let's take a look at this guy. Mr. Button. And he says, yes, I'd like you to put your silly self into the root window. And the text that I want you to put on the button must be list rex short for list records. The width of the button must be 25 units. And when anybody clicks on this, let's clear the screen a bit. When they click on it, I want you to execute the command called view under command. And he says, okay, I'll do that. One other thing is after I told Mr. Button to do this, I next tell him to assign all of that information to B1. Super important, because now I tell Mr. B1 to call Mr. Grid and ask Mr. Grid to put his silly self into row 0 and column 0. So when we click on this button, it's going to execute the command view under command. Let's go take a look at that view under command function. Here's the familiar looking top of our file. Let's move this up a bit. Here you can see the add command function, which we've already covered in the previous videos. Now we have a new function that we're defining in here, the view under command. Let's take a look at this guy and see what he does. First thing is I define view under command, open close parens, colon, and then I tell him, uh, Mr. Listbox1, he says, yes, I'd like you to do me the honors of deleting out everything, starting from the beginning of Listbox1 all the way to the end. From the beginning to the end, delete it all out. He says to me, okay, I'll do it. Not a problem. Next, we come into a looping structure here. A for loop structure. Oops, I just accidentally keyed something in here. So in this looping structure, I do the following. For each row in the view, what's a view? A view is a function that's in the BE file. Wow. Let's go over to the BE file now and take a look at this view function and try and figure out what it does. All right, here I am in the BE, the back end file. We've gone over this already, importing SQLite. We went over the define connect function, and we covered the add rec function in the previous video. Let's go see if we can find our view function. There it is right over there. So here I define a function called view. First thing that happens is I say, Mr. SQLite 3, would you connect to the emps.db? He says, OK, I'll do it. Assign that connection, of course, to Mr. Khan. Uh, Mr. Khan, could you make the cursor? And he goes and he makes the cursor, his scratch pad, so he can put all of his records and notes in there and, and assign that to Mr. Kerr. All right, it'll, I'll do that, he says. Now, Mr. Kerr, I need you to do something for me very important. I need you to execute a SQL command upon my file. 
He says, what sequel command would you like me to execute? I would like you to execute the select star, select everything, from the imp table. Now, he knows I'm talking about a table here. It's part of the syntax. And that would, of course, have to be within the imps.db. So, go to the imp table. Select every record from that M table. That's what I want you to do. All right, he says, I've done it. Mr. Kerr has executed this command. And where did he put it? He put it into this guy, the cursor. All the records from the table are now in here, in Mr. Cursor. Now, Mr. Cursor. Yes, I need you to go and fetch all them records. So he goes and he fetches all them records. And I'd like you to put all them records right over here into the variable called rows. So all my records now are in a variable called rows. Mr. Gunn? Yes. Close the connection now to the database. I don't need him anymore. So, he does it. Now, the last part. Now the view function will return the variable called rows. And what did rows contain? All of the records that Mr. Cursor went and fetched. They fetched all of them, put them into rows, and now we're returning rows to the FE file. All right, let's go back there now. So now we're at the front end file, and we're back to our view command. First thing we told it before was what? We delete out everything from the beginning to the end of the list box. And now we came into the looping structure. And the looping structure said for each row in the be.view, now he executes be.view, and be dot view runs and then all of that is replaced with the returned rows so this now says for each row in rows <laughs> rows is the variable that has all of our records for each row in rows and he's going to go through this one record at a time. This is what I want you to do. I want you to insert something into list box one. Where? Go to the end of the list box, wherever that is. And then I want you to insert a row. That's this guy. So the first record gets put in. Then he moves back around, grabs the next record out of rows. Remember, this now has been replaced with rows in memory. So for each row in rows, insert that row. He goes to the next record in rows, list box one. And he inserts the second row into list box one. Comes back up here, goes to the third row. Grabs the third row and inserts row three at the end of list box one. And now he goes up to the, grabs the fourth row out of rows and inserts the fourth row at the end of list box one, etc., etc. And he just keeps doing this till he gets to the end of rows. Well, let's run the program again. Let's put in another name, Kim, Kim jong -un. The department is a government, and his salary is $9 million a week. All right, I'm going to add him in. Now he's in the database table. Let's find out. I'm going to list the records, and he should be at the end of our table. All right. It didn't list all my records. Now, why come? Well, I look at the error screen, and it tells me that it says I have a name error here. The name BE is not defined. Hmm. It's having trouble with my BE file. Let's go take a look and find out what happened. All right, there's the name of my file, BE. That's correct. But if you look up here, this is not correct. 
I inadvertently keyed in GB at the top here. Oh no, how did I do that? So it's import VE. I spelled it incorrectly. So now it appears I've righted the wrong. I've corrected the error. And it's also BE in, in my file listing in the directory. So let's run this again and see what happens. I'll hit the F5 key and run the program. So let's list the records, find out if that works, and it does work again. Let's key in a new, a new record. Let's say Robbie Rabbit's Department of Movies, and the salary is uh, $50 a week. I'm going to add that record in. Oh, I get another. What is wrong here? Oh, immediately I can see I misspelled that file name again here called the add record function in the begb file it's not begb it's be i've got to go correct that now here's my add under command function and there's my misspelling begb how did i do that well i did and now we just saved it and it looks like oil is well and I'm back in my front end. Alright, let's run this program again and see if there are any more problems. So I'll click on F5. And uh, there's my program. Let's list records. That works fine. Now, let's add in another record. Robbie Rabbit. Robbie Rabbit. Department Movies. Salary, $44. And let's add that record in. It clears it off, puts it in Robbie Rabbit. Let's now list our records and go down to the bottom, see if he's there. And there he is, Robbie Rabbit. Movies 44. So now this works fine. So our program still lacks this functionality. We need buttons to be able to edit, delete, and search for our data. We'll do that in the upcoming videos. Until then, if you could share and like this video, I'd appreciate that very much. Bye-bye now.